Hello and welcome to Open Everyone. I'm Rina Valentin, your host of Café con Leche. Always inviting you to get social with us online, that is. Tweet us and follow us on Instagram at BronxNet TV and like us on Facebook at Open BronxNet Television. And of course, while you're there, don't forget, follow moi on Twitter, Instagram, FB, Snapchat, Insta Stories, LinkedIn at Rina Valentin. All right, so, veneno. Primera caída, el relámpago de Jack, which I believe means um, the first fall. And in the realm of uh, Jack Veneno is, a, is a, the story about a Dominican wrestler uh, who is a living legend of in, within the Latino community. And the folklore has been engraved in the hearts and minds of those who have enjoyed the battles. Let's take a sneak peek of the highly anticipated film, Veneno. And welcome back to the studio. That was a sneak peek of Veneno. And here to share more is the star of the film and actor who plays Jack Veneno, Manny Perez. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. <laughs> welcome thank to you. our open studio. Congratulations to you on all of the work that you've been putting forward. And I, I, I do want to acknowledge you mostly for acknowledging us as Latinos and making sure that you are presenting our stories. And so let's just talk a little bit about that and how you choose your roles. Well, no, thank you for having me again. Uh, you know, I'm all about um, stories that have uh, moved people. Uh, uh, for example, as Dominican, I'm a Dominican. Uh, Jack Veneno has been a legend in my, in my country, actually in Latinos in general. And so his story must be told, and I'm glad it's, it's being told now that he's alive so he can actually see it. He actually saw it in Dominican Republic when we had our premiere. So um, how I choose my roles, all I based, I guess I, I love roles that have a lot of heart, and this character has a lot of heart. And, uh, and there is a beginning, a middle, it doesn't have to have an end but make sure that the character has a transition uh, from the start to the end. So that's how I look at scripts, just well, good stories. No, it, it, because, you know, I know you do the Hollywood thing and you are Homeland and you do like the other commercial more, mm. right? We'll say commercial style television and film. And then this is more indie style and it's our story. So I just wonder how you balance that out and how you make your decisions and, and also just the role you play in, 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 because I've seen you in quite a few don't, films don't, that don't. are geared towards telling Latino stories, Dominican stories, which uh, you're, as you mentioned, you're Dominican, and, and it's quite eerie how, how uh, much you look like I'm in the room. You know? No, it's, it's pretty scary. It's, it's crazy, don't, you know. Don't, I, don't. I, 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 I grew up watching this man on TV, you know, big time no, wrestling morning. fan. He's show. like, let me... To yeah, gringos, yeah. They, they, gringos have Batman, I'll, Superman, I'll with we have Jack Veneno, uh, Mexican have El Santo, and that's how we actually, we grew up, this is our Superman. So, um, so it's interesting how I look, I have no idea, I, just, I, I think my mom and his dad somehow back in the day messed around or something happened. <laughs> <laughs> because I really look like this man. I you mean, really, really do. It was crazy. <laughs> now, physically, I had to gain 20 pounds for the role, I had to learn how to... 
do la lucha libre, which I had no idea how to do. How so long it did it take you to learn that? Uh, it, three months of, of training. But training. like committed training. Yeah, committed. Yeah, exactly. I almost broke a rib in the process. <laughs> so it's pretty hard. And then, uh, and, and, and then I took five years studying him as a person. Um, because I have to be truthful to him. I can't improvise as an actor. I got to be truth to what he is, how he moved, how he talked. He's very articulate. I'm not. Uh, my Spanish is very callejero. Uh, and his is very by the book. So it's very different than how many is. So it was, it was a challenge. I understand he's into politics now? He was. He, he was. Yeah, he was. Now he's like 85 right. and he's just, his age is coming on to him right now. How, so. how unfortunate was that for you to be able to share this moment with him in your development of portraying him? Well, it's funny, you know, he, uh, <laughs> I met him, I probably study him via YouTube, just the way he speaks, his style. And then I met him in person and I was like, wait, this is my hero? This is the guy that I grew up with? Um, why? Because he looked, I didn't think he was that old. I always picture him as like the big muscle dude. And then I'm like, oh wait, um, time's gone by, years are gone by. So that's, that's, you know, and he's an amazing guy. He just really has a beautiful heart. So yeah. I understand that um, the fight between him and another wrestler, an American wrestler, Rick. Uh, Rick Flair. Rick Flair. <laughs> that is like uh, almost like a, a holiday tradition within the Dominican Republic. Yeah. And that's how this whole, uh, I guess, this version of the story evolved. Yeah. But let's talk a little bit about that because from what I understand, it's gotten so many views and, and it's kind of like almost traditional, right? Exactly. No, Rick Flair, I'm not sure if people know, but he was before Hulk Hogan, it was Rick Flair. And uh, he was the champion worldwide. And he went to DR to do this uh, match where he actually got beat down. And he lost the title. And uh, so he, he Veneno. Right, to Veneno. And he said that he lost it because he didn't want to get beat down by Dominicans, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what the Exactly. Story. <laughs> but this story, but, you know, in regards to Jack Veneno, the film that everybody's going to hopefully see April 13th, it's the beginning of how Jack, how Rafael Sanchez, which is the original name of Jack Veneno, how he turned into Jack Veneno. And then in the magical world of Lucha Libre. Then we have a part two and a part three. Part two involves uh, the fight with Ric Flair. That happens, hopefully, we'll start shooting next year. Oh. So it's a, it's a, it's a three-part... Uh, it's a three-part series uh, film. Exactly, exactly. Wow, that, you, you must feel so proud, Manny. No, you know what? I'm just... I, I'm so glad, and I thank the Lord, that I, I'm playing this role. Again, this is our, our, our superhero in the DR. And, uh, and, you know, I'm just it's such a, uh, an honor to play this man. And what's really wonderful is that it's being distributed uh, throughout the United States. Now, let's talk a little bit about that distribution because it, while it is uh, uh, available in th various theaters throughout the states, it's limited as well. Exactly. So let's talk a little bit about where people can watch it. Well, it's, it's Sp Spanglish Movies is the distributor. And thank God for Spanglish Movies because they're really not distributing any Latino film nowadays at all. Mm -hmm. Actually, independent film is dying in the United States because of these superhero movies that we got, the Avengers or whatever. So, um, Spanglish oh, wow. movies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Tell me how you feel, man. No, I know, but I mean, it's, but it's true. No, so, I hear you. So, but but you're, you're, you're making our Latino superheroes well, and no, we love that. No, we're, there you go. Yeah. So hopefully this will be our... our, our the introduction to... Uh, something bigger than... Yes, you know. absolutely. So... Um, it opens in limited theaters, basically the whole East Coast from New York down to Miami. We have like 24, 26 theaters, um, which is great. Uh, and we're targeting basically Latinos. It doesn't matter if you're Dominicans, just Latinos. So hopefully that opening weekend is a big, will, will be a big deal if we support and, 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 and support this, these Dominican films, just these films, Latino films in general. Well, I think it's you know. important for us to tell our stories, and I think it's important for us to know our stories, and I think it's definitely important for us to support our stories. Amen to and that. so, when is the film opening? April thirteenth, uh, here in New York, uh, Miami, Rhode Island, Boston, Forty um, Second Street. We're talking the AMC. We're talking here in New York. In New York, do you we're know talking... the theaters that it's going to premiere here in New York? Yeah, I do. The Grand Con Concourse. Oh, here White in the Bronx. Stone. Yes, yeah. nice. Here in Whitestone, Forty uh, Second Street. Then we have others. Then we have New Jersey. Uh, everywhere in New Jersey. So I don't really exactly know. No, but... I, I didn't expect you to memorize the whole listing. But where can they go get the listing? Oh, where they, they... Uh, fundango.com. It would just it, yeah, just regular. Where you go search for films, put Jack Veneno on April 13th, and you get the whole 
update where the film is playing. Wonderful. Which is great. I also want to invite you to the premiere of Jack Benito. Oh, my goodness. The premiere is uh, the 10th. thank you. And uh, please, I would love to hear your, your thoughts. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, You're Manny. Welcome. You're and welcome. congratulations to you. And I really, really acknowledge you well, for you. making sure our stories are, are, are told and portrayed uh, with a quality uh presentation because right? you. you're a phenomenal actor no, well, and I'm really you. excited to see you in this role thank you, and thank, thank you. you for stopping by here on Open thank to share so with our viewers and you guys once again Veneno Primera Caída El Relámpago de Jack premieres in theaters uh, throughout the U.S. Uh, beginning on April 13, 2018 and um, I wanted to invite you guys to maybe visit their Instagram as well Vene it's at Venenord it's V-E-N-E-N-O-R-D because they have um, listings listed there throughout the images and you'll be able to find the closest theater screening near you. Uh, don't forget, Veneno opens April 13th. Okay, we have to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll hear an empowering story sending a message of hope. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 